Welcome, Welcome to Man's Drums. Drums. Wow, that was that was really good. We were in time, weren't we? We were in time, <laughs> like drummers should be. Um, this is Owen. This is James. Um, and we've got two Pearl Exports. Um, this one is from the late 80s, and this is the latest one. And we're going to do a bit of compare and contrast and see how this kit has evolved and look at some of the new features of this new one. This is really a great kit. I'm really excited to have this in the shop. I've had a Pearl Export for a very long time, for only just upgraded. Um, but it was a delicious kit. Um, That's funny because I had this, this is almost exact, well it is exactly the same kit that I first had and I got it in about 1989, 88 and it was second hand at the time. Um, I think it cost 500 quid, five or 600 quid back then. So they're quite expensive. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so let's, um, Let's have a look up close at some of these features. The first thing we'll be talking about today is what the drum shells of the Pearl Export are made of. Um, they're 7.5 millimeter, six ply Asian mahogany mixed with a bit of poplar. Okay, let's have a look at the pedal. Um, so, oh, this old pedal is so nostalgic to me. It's awesome. Look at that, you've got the very large round cam. It's a very light, very fast, comfortable pedal to play. Oh, it's a belt drive look, of course. And um, no foot plate though. But, Owen, let's have a look at what's going on with the pedal these days. Here we have the Pearl Demonator pedal. This will come as standard with the new exports. And it's got the felt beater and the plastic beater, similar to what's on the uh, Pearl Eliminator pedal which is also that's a very cool feature. The pedal is in fact a longboard and you can actually edit the setting of this depending on what sort of angle you want just underneath. How do you mean? So it's just a couple of screws you can move it up. So oh, okay, so you can change the, 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 the tilt. Yeah, so the, the pedal uh... will be just moved forwards slightly. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, another f awesome feature it tends to be on the more pricey pedals like the Demon Drive mm -hmm. is the spring locking system. So you can set your tension. Have a look. You can set your tension however you like it, lock it down, it won't go anywhere. So this locks the, that? That will lock the spring oh, tension. Oh, that's very cool. Um, also the cam. So as standard, you'll have the speed cam already on. Um, you can take that cam off and then have it lie in the Pearl Perfect Circle cam um, for the more traditional feeling pedal uh, like you saw on the older export kit. Right. Okay. So the, here's the old, old the old style round cam inside there. So you remove the orange bit, and then that will just lay down inside there. So you can have it either way. So that's sort of a, sort of a whipping action on those sort of high speed cams like that, isn't it? That it's, orange one. It's similar to the. Um, if any of you have ever played around with the Eliminator pedal, it's very similar to the red cam. Oh yeah. Um, that's which right. is the high speed performance cam. Okay. Let's talk hardware. Show us some of the uh, hardware on this kit then. Okay, so we have the uh, new uh, 800 series Pearl hardware, or Demonator. Um, with this, you have the very nice um, basket adjuster. Uh, <gasps> some of them tend to have smaller, small ones, and it hurts your fingers sometimes oh, when you're doing them yeah. up. Mm. Uh, also, a really, this is really, cool, really cool feature, this one. Um, a teethless tilter. Oh, that's great. Otherwise, so your you snare drum is always at a slightly funny angle, isn't slightly it? Slightly funny angle. You can always get <laughs> just right. your drum exactly where you want it with one of these. It's that's going to be a major it's so, point. So useful. Always having customers here saying, oh, I hate it when the snare drum, you know, the tooth on the tilter means that the whole drum is just off by just that it, little it, bit. It is. It's, it's the that, most frustrating thing in the world when mm. it's just... Because sometimes you can have a really nice deep snare drum and you've got this beautiful drum kit. Mm. And your snare drum's digging in to your rim around here because oh, yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. get it where you want it. But then you so can just move it slightly that. away, and it will stop that happening. And look at this hi hat pedal. Look, it's a longboard hi hat pedal. It's very much the same as the Demonator bass drum. To pedal. match the bass drum, yeah. But also, like I said, with the tilter thing, you also get it on the uh, cymbal stands, oh, look at that. which is also another useful thing. Get yeah. the cymbals exactly where you want to. That's um, good. Uh, oh, another feature I noticed is the tom mounts. Let's have a peek at those. Yeah, we can have a quick look at the tom mounts. 
The Tom mounts are a new OptiLock system. Um, so basically you'll have two vents on the drum and basically if you want to look inside the drum mm. you can Perfectly. see that there's a little drum oh, key. Oh yeah, the drum key adjusts that. You can see a little drum key in there yeah. and that's basically holding the drum for maximum resonance. Okay. And down here it will Rather be than rather penetrating rather the shell of the drum. Yeah. Because on the old ones, let's have a quick fly over here. There you are. See how the old one, it had a great spike going right inside, that go right, goes right inside the drum. So it takes, the idea, the argument is it takes a lot of the resonance away from the drum. Whereas here, it's only the points of contact are just right here and just that. So the shell is going to resonate more freely. That's the concept anyway. So these days, lots of us are playing double pedals of course. So you're going to be wanting to know, can I adjust the legs on this hi-hat stand? And the answer is, yes, there you are. So that, you can tilt that, and then if you do that up here, tight, that will hold that in place. You recall I said my first kit was a Pearl Export, Owen's first kit, Pearl Export. Um, you know, the old one, my second hand one in, late, in the late 80s was about five or six hundred pounds. You can get the same today for the same sort of money, in spite of inflation and whatnot. So, incredibly good value. You're getting a really solid kit. It's one that we've chosen to be one of our um, lead products as far as drum sets go here at Bands Drums. And the reason is we know this is going to really do the job. So any, uh, especially for youngsters who are going to have this kit and they're going to practice practice on it for years to come. Take it out, gig it. This is a great way to start. You could go for the cymbals or not. And um, we've got a fusion size one here which is nice because if you're a bit smaller, if you're young, when you're young, it's nice to have those uh, smaller sizes. I remember what, as, a, as an 11 year old, with these enormous kits like this, <laughs> you were really, the kit was towering above you. So, come on in, come and check them out. They're all tuned up, set up in the shop, you can come and play them. And you'll see all the different specs and colour options uh, all on the website here. Okay, the Pearl Export. We've done an overview of the drum kit, and what else really is there left to say about the drum kit, apart from it is an absolute tank of a drum kit. Mm. It's the workhorse, isn't it? So many people who are really serious drummers have started off with these. I started off with one, Owen here started off with one. Also, if people, if you're going to college and you need a, a good kit, it's just the most reliable kit. I mean, venues, if you want to, um, to have a house kit, I mean, you can't go far wrong with a Pearl Export. When people ring up and they say, oh, what kit have you got, Pearl Export? Oh, okay, cool. Immediately that inspires confidence. You know it's going to be an absolutely reliable, solid kit. Yeah. Also, um, we have the Fusion in the shop at the moment. Um, other configurations and finishes will be posted on our website. Yep, you can see the pictures of those and the colours. And very lovely they are. So that rounds it up. Yep, that, that about finishes the Pearl Export. If you have any questions, Please feel free to contact us via YouTube or however you feel necessary. We've got a Facebook page. And now I want to go get busy playing the things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, take care. Cheerio.